Welcome to the first ArtsCast of 2020. Join Arts Mid Hudson for our annual meeting on Monday, January 27th at 5 p.m. We'll be giving you all our 2019 annual report and you can meet our 2020 Board of Directors. The event is free and open to the public and we hope to see you there. The 2020 Hudson Valley Gospel Fest will be held from February 21st through the 23rd in downtown Poughkeepsie. The weekend will be full of workshops, food, and performances. Come join us in celebrating the worldwide cultural and spiritual impact of gospel music. I will be there. I hope everybody else will too. Let's go. Currently on view at the Arts Mid Hudson Gallery is Hot Cold Expressions in Wax, an invitational exhibition curated by Tracy Levin. These works incorporate both acoustic, hot wax, and cold wax. And the exhibit is up from now until February 16th. Join us. Happy New Year. Join Arts Mid Hudson this winter in enjoying all of the arts and cultural activities our region has to offer. Common Ground Farm, in partnership with Laura Sansoni of the New York Textile Lab, will be holding the Sustainable Textile Series in Beacon. Participants will learn how to repair, repurpose, and reinvent old clothing through natural dyeing techniques and circular production methods. The Orange County Arts Council will be hosting the 8th Annual Arts Build Confidence Showcase on Saturday, February 22nd at the Middletown Galleria Mall from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The afternoon will showcase high school, middle school, and elementary school artwork from all of the schools in Orange County. Ten high schools will also perform highlights from their spring musical productions. In celebration of Black History Month Kingston, My Kingston Kids and Circle Creative Collective will offer Sankofa, a day of African crafts and arts. This full day of workshops and performances includes fabric dyeing, basket weaving, and sewing a community quilt using African strip weave techniques, the needle craft of Sojourner Truth, and quilt codes from the Underground Railroad. The Center for Creative Education will also host interactive drum and dance performances as part of the festival. 